2021. So, I intended to go and chill at the park today, just relax and enjoy the sunlight. But I've been running around all day, so I might not, you know, and I got to head back out in about 20 minutes. So, may not get some time to relax in the park as I intended to, but that's okay. Got some time to make a video, so I want to make this video. Now, you know, no clickbait titles because I, I want to keep my audience small, to be perfectly honest, because, you know, certain information the masses at whole can't handle and despite the fact that I'm gonna make this video keep this video very short get right to the point and it's not really gonna be anything I think should be surprising to people but will be you know even something as simple as this is something that most people can't handle so you know there is a big story going around about how Drake flew a guy and his fiance out and then he smashed the uh, the guy's wife bride or whatever the case may be that's a big story going on not gonna put any of that in the title no clickbait cuz I don't, I don't I don't want people that can't handle this type of shit watching the video anyways so you know yeah you know, watch a couple videos talking about it I mean I usually don't watch these type of videos, to be honest with you. I don't keep up with celebrity shit. But one of the main channels I watched, Mr. Lucario, you know, shout out to him. He touched on the subject very well, him and Miles Cunningham. And he was basically making the point that if you love somebody, you look at everything. You look at the whole situation. Mayor looks like shit right now. I need to comb it one of these days, but whatever. You look at everything, right? So if you love a woman that's addicted to crack, you accept as part of her personality, you look at that and you still love her anyways. And, you know, the point he was making is that, you know, if a chick, if your girlfriend, wife, or whatever the case may be, it's like, you know, baby, I love you. But I've been a fan of Drake since I was young, and it's, you know, it's always been one of my dreams to suck his dick, right? You feel me? To see what that experience was. This was what he said, Mr. Lucaro. That's his quote, right? You know, if you really love that woman, that's not going to bother you. And while I don't entirely disagree with that, I'm going to take this a step further, okay? Because the simple, my channel is all about you have the truth and then you have everything else, right? The truth of the matter is all love is conditional. Now, this is not my quote. I'm not going to take credit for this. The first person I saw talking about this was actually the guy DJ Hive. Um, I read his book in 2013 called uh, Die Sheep Will Die. Now, I'm not here to promote the book because, again, that's that's a book that most people can't handle reading anyways. But he has a whole chapter in his book talking about how all love is conditional. So, before I talk about what I want to talk about, I'm not taking credit for it. I originally saw DJ Hives talking about this in 2013. Then he's absolutely right. Because the truth of the matter is, all love is conditional. Now, let me explain what that means. So, when people have children, they'll say that they love their children unconditionally. That they love their sons unconditionally. That they love their daughters unconditionally. This is not true. There is no such thing as unconditional love. And let me break down what I mean by this. As a man, you love your son on the condition that that is your son. If you're married, or you have a girlfriend, a baby mother, whatever the case may be, the minute you find out that that child is not your son, that it's somebody else's seed, the love that you have will go away. Now, a lot of men will deny this, and they'll say that, you know, I would love my children even if I found out they weren't my children, and that's not true. 
Because the minute you find out your children are not really your children, they just become regular children. So the level of love that you would have had, if you thought that was your blood kin, decreases dramatically. Most men love their girlfriends, men that are in monogamous relationships. They love their girlfriends on the condition that their girlfriends never cheat on them and never break any of the, you know, because everybody has a price, right? You know, some men tolerate more than others, but everybody has a breaking point. You love your significant other on the condition that she doesn't ascend above that breaking point. Men that are in open relationships, they'll love their girlfriends. You know, cheating really wouldn't be a thing because it's an open relationship, but there's other conditions for the love where if those conditions are broken, the relationship ends. You love your parents on the condition that they're actually your parents, you know. And for some children that hate their parents, that's not even one of the conditions. So, and for those of y'all that come from Toontown, you know, you got multiple Toontown servers. You love Toontown either on the condition that it stays the same. So those of y'all people that play Toontown Rewritten, y'all prefer that server because they really don't change much. That's your condition for loving the game, that it stays the same. And then you got other servers that do the opposite and change everything. And you got people that love that game because they change everything too. So, short, sweet message that's straight to the point. I already know this is going to be the type of video where many people will disagree with me. And that's cool. You know, videos like this, I expect a lot of disagreements. Because I'm not looking for an agreement, you know. You have the truth, and then you have everything else. The truth of the matter is, all love is conditional. If you have a pet dog, you love your dog on the condition that it never attacks you and never betrays its master. You know what I'm saying? You know? You may love your fellow man on the condition that your conditions are not broken. And everybody has these conditions. I'll probably have some people that'll comment, I love my girlfriend no matter what, she can do anything she wants to me and I'll still love her. That's a crock of shit. Because every one of y'all that's in a relationship, you have a condition that if broken, you will break up with your girlfriend. Now, the whole Drake scenario, man, if that story is actually true, then, I mean, it is what it is, man. That was the guy's condition for dumping his fiance. You smashing a celebrity and me not being okay with it, right? So, and the reality of the matter is, to have a relationship that will last as long as it can last, you need to basically find a significant other, or significant others if you have multiple partners, that are the most in line with your conditions as a man. Because again, Everybody has a condition or conditions where if violated or breached, the love ends. For parents, they love their kids on the condition that that's actually their kids. Now, you do have people that adopt children, so their conditions for the love going, going away, so to speak, would be different. It's just a generic example. But yeah... There's really no reason to put this video over 10 minutes long because there's really not much to talk about with this topic. I just wanted to make this point because that's like a big topic. You know, Drake smashing what's her face and, you know, people were la And, you know, it's like, guys, I get it, man. You know, you, you know some, some, some people need to leave the house more, man. It's really not. I mean, stuff like this happens, you know. People cheat on their significant others is actually quite normal. This is why me personally, I'm usually in open relationships, so that's a condition I don't got to worry about anyways, because I understand that it's people were not just attracted to one person in the first place. I understand this, so I mean it is what it is, but for those of the people that are in monogamous relationships, that is usually a condition for the relationship to end or for the love to end. You cheat on me, I don't love you anymore. And that's just how it that's just how it goes. So if there's any disagreements, which I know there will be for this type of video, leave it in the comments section, you know, 
can have it we can have an interesting debate about it if it need be right so but yeah man hope you guys have been entertained enlightened i'll catch y'all in the next video peace